blood tests may be ordered for various purposes. It may be that you're an outpatient um, visiting your GP or a physician, or it may be that you are an in-hospital patient where certain bloods need to be done as a pre-operative procedure or to assess the severity of your condition. Um, we are what we call a stat laboratory, so we try to process all the urgent samples here as quickly as possible. Some of the more routine blood tests which requires urgent attention, we do in a laboratory like this. So what our girls at specimen reception does is they establish to see if the samples are being processed here or not, or they get send it off to our head office. They would unpack the samples, check the name and that barcode number on the tube to see that everything corresponds. They would then, depending on the kind of test that it is, will have to spin it down. Some of the tests that we do in the laboratory, we do on whole blood, which is not clotted, like in the purple top specimen that we had. And then the other ones, we do it on the blood that's already been clotted. So we want to separate the liquid part of the blood from the cellular part of the blood. The purple top specimen, we actually want to count the amount of cells in your blood. We put it through the instrument. The instrument is what we call a cap piercing system. It will go straight through the rubber and it will send a probe into the blood sample to take the certain amount at once. And it will uh, run it through the instrument and it will physically count all the different cell lines that you have. In some scenarios, the instrument might show us that there might be part of the blood that we need to have a look at. And that is when we make the blood smear. The blood smear you can't just put under the microscope as is, so we've got to give the cells a, a color so that we can distinguish which cells are which. We put it through the staining process. After the staining process is complete, we wait for the slide to air dry and we put it under the microscope under oil immersion and then we can have a look and see what kind of abnormalities are on the slide, uh, if there are any abnormal cells. So the bloods we order to look at different um, systems within the body as well okay so typically if we want to look at your liver function or your kidney function we would order um, a specialized tube for that so that would be a gel tube or a yellow top tube and we look at those results and then there's lots lots of uh, other interesting facts or factors that might contribute to um, the result that we have what time of the morning your hormonal levels can be different in the morning versus the evening. Even sitting up straight or lying down might have an influence on, on how certain results um, can be interpreted or generated. The second part of the laboratory makes use of what we call clotted blood. Like I said to you earlier, we spin it down to separate the liquid part from the cellular part because the test is actually formed on the liquid part of the blood. We take it and we uh, load it onto the instrument. We, uh, over there, we actually take the cap off. We load it onto the instrument. The instrument will read the barcode, which is on your blood tube. It will send it to our mainframe computer system and the computer system will then tell the instrument those are the tests that you need to do because it's already been pre-registered when your blood was taken at the front. It will aspirate some of the blood sample and mix it with the reagent on board automatically. And it takes about 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes, it will give us a print out of your results. We compare it to what was sent over to our computer system and we would verify and send it out.